All right. May also marks the beginning of Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. It pays tribute to those communities and their cultures that have enriched America's history, but it's also a celebration that anyone can partake in. Kate Lay 5's Gene Kang is live for us in Koreatown. So, Gene, you talked about the dragon. My ears went up when you talked about some of the food that's in Koreatown. Because, <laughs> boy, when you talk about Korean barbecue, that's the place to go. Oh, right? yeah. Oh my gosh, this is the place to go. And I just want to say happy Mother's Day to you, Lynette and Mark and everyone out there. Uh, just a beautiful day today. I was driving out here to Koreatown and it was fantastic because we saw all of the balloons and the teddy bears and all the flowers for the moms out there on the corners, you know, people sending that out uh, on the street vendors. And it's just a joyous feeling. But talking about the dragon, let's talk about that first. Uh, this symbolizes hope, resilience, power, good fortune in the Asian American culture. And here in Koreatown, uh, of course, we're celebrating AAPI Heritage Month. Check this out. So this is how it was built. I've been talking to the person who made the mural, the artist Jason, also known on Instagram as RFX1. Well, they say that during AAPI Heritage Month, they're presenting this artist here with a huge dragon for the only middle school in Koreatown here in Los Angeles, named after a Korean American, Young Oh Kim, here at the academy it's also known as yoka well this mural it symbolizes hope for koreatown especially during the last few years uh, because of the anti uh, Asian violence against the API community that is unfortunately on the rise. But in the mural, uh, they're really focusing on something more positive. In the light of all the darkness, it gives sunlight, uh, new meaning, new life every day. And this is really something not only for the Korean American community, but a lot of uh, Asian American folks. They love the dragon. I love the dragon. Um, Bruce Lee was <laughs> Enter the Dragon, right? So uh, really was an icon for me and so many people. But back out here live, we have some cooking going on with Rocket Cart and Paul Kim and uh, Mark. I know that you're going to love this. This is called uh, Chicken Galbi, right? Spicy Dak Galbi. Spicy Dak Galbi. That's right. We're going to learn some Korean words this yes, morning. We and we have Cindy Shin with KC Strategies. And Cindy, you've done so much for the AAPI community and you've been vocal also working with the attorney's office as well. Yes, I, I was with the city attorney's office for over a decade doing a lot of prevention and work, especially in child abuse, domestic violence, mental health issues, and a lot more. And we love this because you guys are doing some donations, a fundraiser. So a percentage of this actually goes to help child hunger and child abuse. Yes, exactly. And Rocket Card, of course, is going to be talking talking more about that later on and I was just you know so happy that they stepped up for this partnership I helped them build this partnership with other organizations to do a lot of you know prevention work API outreach into um, the API communities um, for domestic violence and child abuse issues and we're seeing some uh, b-roll right now of those delivery kits being made they're uh, of course made by rocket cart and Paul Kim the CEO there um, and this looks so delicious I love Korean food obviously because I'm Korean American but um, this is something Something that it's now becoming more popular in uh, society at large. Yeah, you know, if you think about it, just five, seven years ago, when you th when people talked about Korean food, it was you know K barbecue, right? But now there's just a lot more when it comes to Korean food, and I think especially with the explosion of everything Korean, like K pop, K drama, and now K food, a lot of interest surrounding Korean food. And you know, even here in California, there's a Korea Kimchi Day on November 22nd. So how mainstream can it get? Right? That is amazing. Uh, who doesn't love Squid Game on Netflix, exactly. right? And Pachinko on Apple TV. Exactly. But uh, it really, because of all of this, as we take another live look out here, um, I'm going to have to try that. That looks delicious. It's a burger. But take a look at your screen right now. A little bit more information about the art show. It's called Traditions, the second annual AAPI group show. Uh, they're going to have 40-plus AAPI artists sharing cultural and family traditions, and 15% of their artwork sales are donated to Stop AAPI Hate, located at 527 North Fairfax Avenue in L.A., and the website is on your screen and phone numbers. And this is Rocket Cart Korean Groceries, free next morning delivery. You can check out rocketcart.com or the Rocket Cart app. 20% of their meal kit sales in the month of May go to help file fight uh, child abuse and hunger. Um, and just for you guys, KTLA viewers, KTLA25, check out and use that code for 25% off for your purchase, uh, purchases. But happy, uh, I can't even talk because it smells so good right now. I'm just like, ah, you know, I'm like almost drooling. But happy Mother's Day Thank to you. you. so much. Best way to celebrate it is with Gene King. <laughs> We're going to eat some of this food coming up here you at 7 o'clock, guys. Mark back Mester, Gene Korea King. Town. I just want you to know you're torturing I Mark I will Mester. try to bring some of I'm going to have back. to make some in Korean oh, next week. Like with kimchi. Oh, yeah, let's do that on... Yes, kimchi and kalbi and yum, yum, yum. So we're, we're going to do all that mm -hmm. stuff. All right, guys, see you soon.